Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here. I just want to say welcome. And if you guys have been following me, I just want to say uh, I'm glad that you're here. So, um, we're going to work on this headlight assembly. This is from a 66 VW Bug. It has a 6-volt headlight in it and a 6-volt bulb that's sitting in here too. So, we're going to swap these out um, and make them 12-volt. Anyway, I'll show you how that's done. We want to get this bulb out of here. We have to deal with these clips. And I know a lot of people hate these things, and I do too. They fly all over the place if you don't put them in right. So the way you take them out is you press down on one side and you pull towards yourself. So I'm going to press down and then pull. They come out just like this. So I'm going to set this off to the right. Okay, now that all of those are off, I believe, let's see, I have four of these. I have a total of four. Um, usually there's like five or six of them. I don't know why this one's missing that many, but it's okay. And then this bulb should come out. Just like that. And it does have a ring. This ring is to capture it in place. So I'll put this off to the side. And now we have to take off this housing. I'm basically taking this apart. If you're going to just switch off to a 12 volt system, this is as far as you go and just replace the lens. But I'm going to clean all this up anyway. And besides, I want to replace, there's a gasket that's in here. I want to replace as well. I'm sure it's bad. So we'll take a look at that. But first, I'm going to disassemble it. So you pull these out. These are grommets. This is to adjust the light itself. You see that there's an adjustment here for your light. And adjustment here and what it does it kind of pivots so you get the better or the best angle for your lights to show on the road so I'm gonna tear this down so I'm gonna pull pull this out and this one's already come out the grommet come out with it so fine I'm just gonna leave it for now I'll turn it so it's out of the way I'll pull this one same thing, the grommet came out of that one. No big deal, the grommets are in good shape. So now this ring will come out by itself. That's the only thing that was holding it. And just take note, see how this tab is in further? So this goes to this side here. And I'll tell you why. You can see, if you follow the surface here, and see how this is going straight up, so it's kind of perpendicular, but the housing is not perpendicular. That's why this is sticking out. You can see how the tab is parallel to this here, and that helps it um, stay in line. But on the other side, it's a little different. Um, this rod here is parallel to the housing, so that's why it doesn't need the tab. Okay, so we're down to this point. Um, I'm gonna take this light bulb out. Just press down and twist. Just be careful, because sometimes these things break just like that. Just broke. So be careful, these can be sharp and it will cut you. All right, so the next thing, we're gonna take out these these little um, these wires that hold it in place. So same thing we did before. You press down, you pull them out. So I'm going to press down. On one of these, I'm gonna use a screwdriver to do it. I'm gonna press down, just be careful. I will wear safety glasses because these things do spring around. Let's try it with pliers. It's just really leery about these things jumping around on you. All right, so got one out. Going to the next one. I mean, they jump around. Oh, that one flew. Look out.
So I have a total of about five here. Sometimes there's five, there's six. I've done it with four. So no big deal there. Uh, let's see, they're all off. And now we can pull this part of the housing out. Just make sure you clear the screws here. They will get in the way. So now we got the ring. Set that off to the side. And let's take a look at the lens and the rubber. The rubber has perished. It's no good anymore. All right. What I want to do is separate the lens from here. It may be on there good because this is all dry rotted. So just be careful. This is glass. So just be careful. I'm going to pry it just gently here just to break the seal. Believe it or not, this is really thick glass anyway. All right, separate it. So here's all your pieces, uh, minus the clips and the headlight. So I'm gonna clean all this stuff up and then next time you see it, it's gonna be nice and shiny and we'll put it back together. Okay, everything's been clean. Thanks to Super Clean here. Does a great job on this stuff. Uh, somebody's asking, um, this is original. It has the German writing here. So it is a hella, so it's good. Now it's time to put things together. So first things first, we're gonna have to add the gasket to the light. So the gasket that comes with it, as you can see, doesn't really fit the light. Looks kind of small, right? However, this is, this is the correct gasket for this, and it is high quality. This is hella. So make sure you get the, the good stuff. I'm not sure, I think I might've got this from Wolfsburg West, I don't remember. It's been a while. You need to stretch this on here. So get it started at the top, kind of hold it. Gonna have to stretch it. Don't worry, you're not gonna break it. Finagle with it a little bit, and it sits right in there. No problem. There's a groove in the rubber itself, so just make sure you get that in the notch. Uh, there's like a little, see a little lip there. You wanna make sure that's on there correctly, and it's tight, it's not gonna go anywhere. And they worry about stretching it, it'll be fine. So now, we have to get this lens onto the housing. So it's gonna, I'm gonna turn this upside down. And this is gonna go like this. Now on your lens here, I don't know if you can see it or not, there is an arrow right here. It shows you where this is, should be pointing. So this is pointing down. That's how it should be. I'm gonna put this right here, just like that. And try to get it centered best I can. That looks good. Now we're gonna take this ring here, we're gonna put it on top. And this is your bottom here. So this goes on like this. Just make sure you spread these guys out a little bit. Don't bend them, Just spread them out enough so he goes over the lens. So that's how it looks looking good um so this is kind of floppy kind of flops around a little bit so the best thing to do is i use masking tape and this is for me to add those clips because adding those clips can be a little difficult okay ready to turn it over on its face and now we can add the clips because this does what happens is this housing moves up and down up and down with this ring and you're fighting it you're fighting it, it doesn't it's not worth it all right so we have five of these clips that need to be placed in so what i like to do i like to go from left to right i also want to show you that see how it's bent here that's for the edge of this ring right here the way this goes is see this bent piece lays in here like that 
So what I'll do is I will put in the long side first, like that. And it's, it's gotta be on top of this rim here. And then you take the short piece, it gets clipped in, just like that. And it should look like that where that bump is riding on the rim. Grab one of these, we'll put the long side in first. And it rides along that rim. And we'll snap the small piece in, just like that. So that's how that should look. Now this is gonna move around just a little bit. As you're putting the clips in, it's gonna float a little bit. And once you get them all in, it'll start centering. So no big deal there. As you can see that side, you can see that side. Now I'm gonna put one at the top. Let me put one on the bottom. There we go. The last one may be a little, little tight, a little tough. So you can't put these behind a screw. I'll show you how to do that. So you take this, it goes behind the screw. You put the long end first, and then you put the short end. There you go. Snap right in. So it goes behind the screw, if you're gonna do it that way, if you run into that problem. This guy's in there pretty good. We're gonna start adding the rest of this on top. Okay, before I add this guy and everything else, I'm gonna add this bulb and I can test it see if you guys want to see what it looks like. I have a small power supply. I hope this up so the black is actually uh, positive. And this is negative, so yep, it works fine. It's kind of hard to see. Ooh, blue light, blue light. Okay, so yeah, definitely make sure you put your light bulb in. Uh, I put these together and forgot that and have to take it all apart. Okay, so we're gonna stick this ring in. Remember I told you about the tab goes to this guy here because he's not perpendicular to the housing so the right way to do this is that these grommets if I can get them off these grommets are supposed to go in here okay I got the grommets in so no problems there just make sure you put them in the right place or well, this housing won't go in correctly so it doesn't matter which one you start with. I'll do the right side first. Stick him in first like that. Just push him in. Okay. And now I can do this side. They just get pressed in or pushed in. Just like that. We got that in. All right, next. Will be the hella housing these are just the housing themselves there's no light bulb inside of it which is pretty nice because if your light bulb burn burns out you can just replace it not like the old days you had to replace the whole thing make sure you get good uh good housings here because i'm not sure if all of these are i guess let me say universal because you as you can see here this has like a, a bridge and the bridge is for this guy here, so that's how it sits, just like that. So, first you make sure your H4 is in the vertical position, which will be like that. So I'm gonna stick him in here first. I'll double check, that's a little off, let me adjust it. That's how that goes. So now we can add this ring. And then we're gonna add these clips. So the way these clips, they go across like that. Now, it doesn't matter how you put them in, either you're long or short, but they have to go across here to hold that ring in. I'm gonna stick the long one in first on this side. And I have the short one. 
I'm gonna snap him in. Just like that. And I believe I have four of these or five, let's see. Yep, just four. So I'll do like a cross pattern. I'll go from here and I'll go up here. It's kind of hard to show you on this one. Snap him in. And ideally this is supposed to be on top of the ring, not like this. So I'll have to fix that here in a minute. Let me put the rest of them in. Okay, just ensure that these are on the ring, not on this housing here, because you will break this. So um, just a little trick here is make sure that this runs along this back edge here. This is to be the long tab or the long piece of the wire. Just shove it up against there, then put in the smaller wire there. So, all right, so the next thing we're gonna add the bulb to there. I have an H4 bulb. That's what I'm going to be using. This has a high beam and a low beam. So you definitely don't want to touch the lens. Pull that out. And then the way this comes out is it has a wire here. That you have to squeeze together to pull it out. And they come through the center. Come out. Um, the bulb goes in here a certain way. And there's like three notches that the bulb sits into. So it has to sit flush in here. Putting this bulb in, it's gotta be just right. There's three tabs, three notches that it sits into. There we go. That's how it sits. So now we can bring these wires over. Just pinch them and then just stick them into their notches. It's like notches right here. Now you're set. So now we can add this plug. And this plug will tell you which side it's on. It tells you top. And there we go. So that should complete everything. If you want to swap out your headlights from 6 volt to 12 volt, I mean, this is how I'm going to do it. You can do it any way you want. I don't know. So what do you guys think? Looks good? All right, let's put on the blue light. That's what that looks like. got a blue light special here all right so you're with me this far i appreciate it uh please like subscribe and comment let me know how i'm doing uh ask away ask questions leave comments be great i really appreciate it again guys thanks for watching